Joey Walker is an interesting guy. Yeah, we get it's a, it's a. He's mostly known as the guitarist for King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. However, he has also provided his vocals for many of their songs. And so the point of today's video is to count down my top 10 favorite Joey Walker songs in the King Gizzard discography. Starting off with number 10, we go to the album Fishing for Fishies for the song This Thing. Funny enough, when I first heard the song, I didn't even notice that it wasn't Stu singing. It wasn't until I found the Chucky Shrapnel bonus features where I realized it actually was Joey singing. Joey's vocals are usually a bit softer, and this is definitely apparent in this song. My favorite part is near the end where he's kind of just singing really, really fast and it's kind of hard to understand what he's saying, uh, but I just think it's a great outro to the song itself. For number nine, we go to Butterfly 3000 for the song Interior People. For some reason, I've always thought this song sounded a lot like this thing. Maybe it's the tempo, I, I don't know. I love how this song has its, you know, really cool, catchy guitar intro, and then it, like, transforms into, like, a techno-y, 80s kind of sounding song. I don't know, I just really like it, and also the lyrics are really powerful. Number 8 is actually a song that I really didn't love at first, and I didn't think would be anything that special. Uh, however, now I love it, and it is Minimum Brain Size. This is one of the lead singles for the album KG, which I actually just got a new KG poster, so, you know, that's, that's kind of cool. I don't know, I just like how this song is structured, I love how it rhymes and flows. I don't know, the you're pathetic bro, you're weaker than you know part, I always like to sing that in the car. But yeah, I just think this is a really great early song in KG, and I just think it's one of Joey's best. For number seven, we go to another song that I did not expect to like nearly as much as I do, and it is Anoxio. Anoxia is just another one of those really cool, vibey Joey Walker songs that I don't really understand what he's saying most of the time. However, I love the part where he's singing about like a family sleeps by the crease. Just a really cool part of the song, and I think it's a great one from Flying Market Tonal Banana. Going to number six, this might be a controversial pick, I don't know, but it's worth this time. The reason why I say it's controversial is this is the most streamed King Gizzard song in their discography, at least on Spotify, so I'm assuming a lot of people really do enjoy it. And it's their most streamed song for a good reason. I mean, Joey's soft vocals all throughout and the really kind of sweet sounding, you know, instruments all throughout are really great. However, the best part is the outro at the end where he does his guitar solo. I mean, particularly when he did it live in Pittsburgh. I mean, that was just maybe the best part of the entire weekend. And the weekend I'm referring to is when I saw them three times in three days. You can check out that video right here. I'm just going to say five and four now as they both are back to back songs in their album. And it is Horology and Loyalty. Although I actually got it backwards. Loyalty at number five, Horology at number four. Joey Walker has his fingerprints all throughout Polygon and Wonderland, but I think my favorite part would be the Inner Cell Loyalty Horology section. And in particular for this list, Loyalty and Horology. Joey Walker is not the lone vocalist for the song Loyalty. He actually does it with Stu. However, this song is just too amazing to not include here. I was going to include Horology and I just, I could not not include Loyalty. That outro is just so good. It's definitely one of the best parts in any King Gizzard song. Uh, but now going on to Horology, this song is all Joey. The really catchy, repeating, you know, dun 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 You know, it's so good. The demo is actually just as catchy. Uh, check that out if you haven't as well. But yeah, this song is just amazing. It ends the, you know, the Inner Cell Loyalty Horology Suite on a high note. And it's my number four pick for my top ten Joey Walker songs. Going into my top three, this is very difficult, as I would put these three songs in my top, I don't know, 20 King Gizzard songs overall. So yeah, I wouldn't get too up in arms over the placement of these next three songs, as essentially they're tied for me, uh, but I was able to narrow it down a little bit. Number three, I was so lucky and fortunate to hear this song when they performed in Pittsburgh, Plura. At the Pittsburgh show, I actually knew the person that was standing in front of me, and they were like, hey, if you have any songs in particular you want to maybe move in front of me for to take any videos, let me know. And whenever Plura started playing, I was like, hey, can I just get the outro real quick? So that was so damn cool. One of my favorite, you know, moments of that weekend. I know I keep mentioning it, but I'm reminiscing over it. I'm, I'm missing seeing King Giz live. So, uh, yeah. This song is just crunchy and punchy. I love how it's going bam, bam, you know? And then, but the best part is the lyrics. I love how it's singing about, like, the coronavirus pandemic and how people were like, stop telling me what to do. I have the right to kill myself or kill others. You know, I just love it. It's also singing about Trump and how he's an orange baby. Just a great song and definitely one of my favorites by Joey. 
Going into number two, this was so hard not to put at number one, and it is Intrasport. Intrasport is famous for a reason. You know, it's it's really different. It's definitely one of the most like out there King Gizzard songs, especially when compared to the other songs in KG. However, I love the music video for it. You know, it's just him and the boys, you know, having a good good Friday night, you know. I'm sure everyone and their friends has had a night like that. Um, but just this song is so cool. I love how it's, you know, disco-y and I don't know. I, I really wish this song would get played live. I think that would just be so damn cool, but I don't know if we're ever going to see that day. Going into number one, I actually recently had this in my top 10 King Gizzard songs overall, but it's without a doubt my favorite Joey song, and it was the first that came to my mind when I thought of making this list, Tazetta. Countdown, D-Day, and Tazetta might just be one of my favorite three song runs in their discography. And ending that three song run off is Tazetta, and damn what a good song. The instruments in this song are absolutely just the best part, but I also love the fact that Han Tayumi makes a cameo. Whatever this song hits in the right mood, it hits. So yeah guys, that is my top 10 Joey Walker songs. I'd love to hear what your favorite songs are by the man himself. Make sure you list your favorite Joey Walker songs in the comments, as I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't even realize that some songs are done by Joey. His vocals can sometimes blend together with Stu, so I definitely recommend you guys look up what songs he has particularly done, you know, so that way you can be like, oh, I didn't even realize that he did this one and I love it. Check the description below, I made a playlist for my favorite Joey Walker songs overall, as well as a few other playlists I'm going to just shout out, so check that out, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video.